Welcome! Got quite a big box here to show you the contents of. Today, this is from Funko Europe. And there's three different items in here. Three pops. One's actually a double set. Uh, but it's a bit of an eclectic mix, this. There's two pops in the pop rock genre, but both very different. One in particular I'm really excited about because I didn't even realise it was coming out. And then when I was browsing on the Funko Europe site, I just came across it. It was in stock. Had to have it. And the other thing is actually something for a television collection that they've been bringing out a few new items in recently. Right then, let's get this open. I can't remember the total price of this. I do remember having a £5 voucher to use though. Funko Europe sent it me because I filled in some survey last month and anyone who did the survey would eventually get a £5 voucher. It was free postage anyway because this order was well over £40. How is Funko Europe doing for packaging? Well there's plenty of protective paper on the top. I don't know if you can see that. So pull that out. We've got something wrapped in paper. Something in one of their funny origami sorters. And something else that's kind of wrapped in paper, but it's sliding out. So I'll uh, be a bit careful with that. Right, I'll show you the single pop first. In the Pop Rocks line, you know how much I love that collection. It says as he's struggling to open this. Ah, there we are. We're in. And what we have here is, that's quite an early number for a Pop Rocks figure that's a brand new release, but it's number 71 in the Rocks line. It's the Funko Shop exclusive Whitney Houston. Saw that this was in stock, a brand new release, or pretty new I think, and I thought, yeah, let's get this. I've got that £5 voucher. There's a couple of things I definitely want. Let's add Whitney Houston to the collection. Uh, this particular Whitney, and there is a common version that's come out, but this one, I believe her outfit is the one that she wore when she sang at, I want to say, the 1991 Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, please, someone who knows more about Whitney or the Super Bowl, correct me if I'm wrong. I won't get this out of box because we've got plenty of other things to show you, but um, I do like the back of the box there with the Whitney Houston logo. Something on here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a QR code. Probably takes you to the Funko website or the app or something. It just looked a bit more like a holographic sticker at one point, but you can tell it's not a sticker because it's just printed on the box. Lovely stuff there. I'm not sure why it's number 71. I wonder if it's... Was there an earlier Whitney Houston that's like long vaulted? I didn't think there was because I would have assumed I would have seen it before now, but perhaps she was just assigned that number a long time ago, but they've only just got around to doing the pops. But happy to have this i've decided with the pop rocks from now on because i'm so so limited for space i'm just sticking to like exclusive pop rocks figures and then as far as commons go and pop albums i, I like the pop albums the standard size ones anyway i'm just going to get the ones that i really really want for the collection like the artists i'm a big fan of i'm not a big fan of whitney houston i've had a couple of her cd singles back in the day I just thought this was a nice exclusive to add to the collection. So there we are, Super Bowl 91, I think, Whitney Houston. We'll do the two-pack at the end because I want to show you something else in the Pop Rocks line, or should I say the Pop Albums line, and wow, this is amazing. I had no idea this was coming out. It's number 16 in the Pop Albums, and it's Iron Maiden's Power Slave. Wow! Wow! Check out Eddie there as the sort of Sphinx type King Tut Eddie there. Amazing. I don't have the album. I do quite like Iron Maiden. They're a band I probably would get into a little bit more if I listened to them more. I've got a couple other pop albums on pre-order at Glass Shelf Collectibles. Yeah, I'm mentioning the dreaded P word again. One of them was in stock along with this at Funko Europe. And I was like, oh, I really want that because I've actually got the album. I'm a big fan of the artist. Um, see if you can guess who that might be. But um, I resisted buying that and then eventually having a duplicate. 
and I just stuck with Iron Maiden Power Slave here. But that looks fantastic. I think it's still the same sort of deal with the pop albums where obviously they come in these um, square shaped harder protector or cases really. And then there's some cellophane on that I will take off later but I've got some album shaped pop protectors to stick this into. Yeah, absolutely delighted with that could become my new favorite pop album already this one and it was just a really nice surprise to see it come up as i didn't even know this was coming out whereas other ones that i've got pre-ordered and that i've seen advertised months and months ago have not even come in stock at gsc and other places that i keep checking hopefully there will be more pop albums to show you namely the ones that i've pre-ordered you would have seen a couple of pop albums unboxed on this channel recently from the four-way pop rocks box battle that I did with Random, Not Suitable for Mum and Wayno, but I'd got both of those in my collection already and I have passed them on since to friends. That is fantastic, that's probably going to be my favourite pickup from this particular haul. I've saved this particular two pack till last because I do want to get this out of box because this is an out of box collection for me. It is classed as a special edition, so it'll be exclusive to somewhere in the United States, but we've got the special edition sticker on. It is the Parks and Recreation 2-pack Donna and Ben, the Treat to Yourself double set. Nice. Something else that I knew this was coming out, but I didn't realise it'd be out so soon at Funko Europe. I think other sites are probably still waiting for their allocation, but I do love Parks and Rec great american comedy and i collect the pops and i'm gonna get this one open today because as i say my parks and rec collection is an out of box one all my parks and rec pops are in this first cabinet at the far left of my wall here that's just off camera i always save the boxes even for oob pops of course donna meagle here does have a stand so i better get that out before i close this box back up but I won't worry about putting her on the stand just yet. I'll do that after I've finished filming. So there's my empty box. I'll put that into storage later on. Two pops to quickly show you here. Donna Meagle, played by the American comedian Retta. First time she's had a pop released of her in the PR set. She looks great. She's got very nice textured hair. The treat yourself thing is relating to a particular episode as you would no doubt understand i think that's probably a box of donuts or cupcakes she's got in her hand there i've not seen the episode in a little while well, i did re-watch parks and rec maybe about 18 months ago she's dressed in a pink top black trousers and just a very nice pop there and with her we have ben wyatt here who's got a white bathrobe dressing gown on i do remember the reason why i was wearing that i think he might be wearing sandals as well yeah like jesus sandals not an awful lot else to say about him really now then those of you who have got good memories will be saying now hang on jimmy didn't you already have a ben wyatt in your parks and recreation pop collection and aren't you only one character per series the answer to both of those questions is yes you are entirely correct and the ben wyatt that you would have seen me unbox on this channel previously i don't know four or five months ago ish something like that is this one and because i'm only one character per series this one's now back in its box and it's available to anyone who wants it the trouble is there isn't many of my friends here on youtube or in the wider funko community who really like parks and recreation apart from me I don't know I seem to be kind of on a desert island with that show to be honest but if you are a fan and you want this then let me know and also not only that it gets better because there's another parks and recreation pop that I'm looking to offload to somebody as soon as possible and it's quite a valuable one now it's this little Sebastian that um, I've had this one for must be about three years nearly now you've probably got to know that it's for the same reasons why I'm uh, getting rid of that other Ben Wyatt I will be getting little Sebastian again in another two pack that I've got on order at pop culture at the moment I don't know when that's going to come but obviously you will see the unboxing so I don't don't need two Lil Sebastians. I don't need two Ben Wyatts. Lil Sebastian, he does have some value to him, but obviously, you know me, if anyone really wants him, 
I'm prepared to do a very good deal and an even better deal if you take both of them off me. So just let me know anyone who is interested in Lil Sebastian and or Ben Wyatt here for your own Parks and Rec collection. This one, uh, for a long time, the only animal pop I had in my collection and quite an early one for me really in the TV genre. Enough of the shilling of parts of my collection that I'm looking to part with. Let's do a quick recap of what we've bought today. Ben and Donna from Parks and Rec. Funko Shop exclusive Whitney Houston and my favourite of today's haul the epic Iron Maiden Power Slave album thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this video showing my latest purchases from the Funko Europe site going right into my pop collection special thanks go as always to my subscribers and my generous wonderful brilliant amazing magnificent patrons please see all my funko affiliate links for shops like hull pops glass shelf collectibles and many many more all down in the description text box they're all recommended by yours truly there's discount codes to use and affiliate links that help this channel out and also speaking of helping the channel out my patreon link is there and there's my Facebook group link as well, which costs nothing to join and it doesn't financially benefit me for you to join. But I like to see familiar faces and channel subscribers join the group and join in the conversation. I'm going to go now. I've got Whitney to put in a pop protector and then put her in my pop rocks display over there. Similar situation with Iron Maiden's Power Slave, but I do need to remove the cellophane first. I know a lot of people don't actually bother doing that, but I do because if I'm putting it in a protector, then it's going to look better in that, but without the cellophane, in my opinion. And I'm also going to put Donna Eagle and Ben Wyatt treating themselves into my cabinet here with the other Parks and Rec Pops. And don't forget, these are available if people are interested. But trying to find a fellow Parks and Rec fan at the moment is a bit like platinum piss. And on that bombshell, I do hope that you will all join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!